day. Thinking of all of us with our families in our homes and probably little bips and bops of conflicts and amends and movement forward to a different way of doing things. Kindness and empathy can be big words and also a need when interacting so consistently in home during this time. I found this book that is from the feeling section of our local library. And even though we don't have our library open, this is one that luckily we had an extra copy for. And it's called Finding Kindness. And it's by Deborah Underwood and illustrated by Irene Chan. Finding Kindness. Kindness is sometimes a cup and a card. or a ladder, a trunk, and a tree, a scritch, and a cuddle, a rake, and a yard. A cookie, a carrot, a key. It's seeds and a feeder, a seat on a train. A daisy, a peach or a pie, a wave at a baker, a boost on a crane, a sandwich shared in the sky. Kindness is sometimes a tip in a case or a tap when a lace is untied. It's taking a photo or making some space. It's a racket, a rocket, a ride. It's dirt and a shovel, petunias and pails. It's trees that will someday give shade. It's plans and a hammer, it's lumber and nails, it's houses and cold lemonade. Kindness is sometimes just taking a break or sitting with someone who's sad, forgiving yourself when you've made a mistake or forgiving a friend who got mad or family. Making those movements forward in health. It's cuddling puppies, it's holding a door, it's a toy and a treat and a comb. It's seeing the animals others ignore. It's a leash and a lick and a home. Kindness is sometimes a song or a stick or a hi and a bat and a ball. It's soup when a neighbor is sneezy and sick, or a scoop if one happens to fall. It's reading a story, it's feeding a fish, it's a bucket, a book, and a yard. It's kissing a sister. It's wishing a wish. It's a bug and a cup and a card. This card says love. Finding what you do in your home, the little, little, little things that make a big, Keep it up, you peacekeepers, you children and families full of kindness.